Rob here. I want to talk about how the Supreme Court is going to be making the decision on uh, gay marriage and how there's all this activism for and against it, the uh, whole hardcore Christian versus uh, gay cultures colliding all at the Supreme Court. I don't get it, I don't understand it, and here's why. And I'm probably going to piss off both camps. If I do, apologize. Um, if you're already Christian, or you're already gay, or whatnot, or maybe both, who knows. Um, why, not why, but have you ever asked for permission to be either one of those things? If you feel it in your heart that this is who you are, do you need recognition or permission from any group of people, for any person, to live your life the way you want to live? No, of course not. And if this decision goes against your favor, whichever favor you believe in, are you going to stop being who you are? No, of course not. I mean, why would you limit yourself to what five people on the Supreme Court, I mean, there's nine people, but five people is the majority, why would you limit yourself to what five people decide? So five people on the Supreme Court decide whether or not you can or cannot get married. What I say, do what you think is right. If you want to get married, get married. Now this goes toward gay and straight people. Why do you need recognition from anyone to get married? You know, maybe the polygamists have it right. They don't go to... They don't go to the state to get married. They, they get married once, but they get married a bunch of other times, and they just don't get recognition from the state. They just do it. I'm not supporting or not supporting polygamy, but that being said, they don't ask for permission. They just do it. What I'm saying is, if you're gay or straight, you don't need recognition from people you've never met to live your life. Just go live your life. You don't need permission. And regardless, regardless of whatever this decision these five arbitrary people make, it means nothing. Nothing at all. Live your life. And if you're going to throw the whole tax issue, well, they'll get tax breaks as being a couple. Well, here's an idea. Get government out of the, uh, the business of marriage. And while you're at it, advocate no taxation. That solved the problem right there. All right. Uh, you can always follow me on uh, Twitter at Volunteer Rev. All my other social links are down below. And uh, peace, love, liberty.